In this week's video, we're going to be looking at Overwolf, which is a program that allows you to download a bunch of apps that you can use while gaming. Hi, I'm One Week, and welcome to my channel where I review apps, programs, and tech that I use while gaming. This week's video is brought to you by Icebreaker2k1, who requested that I do a review on Overwolf. So here it is. As you can see, we're going to be looking at Overwolf today. Overwolf is a program where it basically aggregates apps and websites that you use for games in one place and boots them up for you. So again, this is the home screen we can see here for Overwolf. It has uh, some highlights up the top here and then some sort of popular apps or games down the bottom. We're gonna be focusing on League of Legends today. So we're gonna go across to apps, League of Legends and wait for that to boot up. So here's the, the screen we're gonna be looking at. Breaks it down into sections, which basically has the sort of most popular ones, a few more apps and some popular apps across the whole program. And lastly, some skins, which just change the uh, theme of Overwolf and how it looks on your screen. So as you can see, some of the apps um, we've heard of before, if you've followed my channel. So for example, Mobilytics can be run straight through this app, as well as Porofessor can also be run straight through the app. There's a few apps on here that do similar things. So for example, uh, LolWiz, if we click on that, it'll give us a little brief overview of what it is. Um, effectively, it is kind of like a mix between blitz.gg where it'll tell you what's happening, what runes they're running and that sort of thing once the game is loading, um, as well as a mix uh, a little bit like Porofessor as well, where it'll tell you some of the win rates um, and give you some tags for your opponents as well. We also have uh, Facecheck, which is again the second most popular one which is very, very similar to blitz.gg. It just runs it straight through this client instead of through its own client like blitz. Of the programs that I've used or the apps that I've used on this site, I've used game summary before, which is kind of cool. Um, the one that I like especially is if you can see here, it gives you a, a match overview or highlights as well as if we look back at the start here, it gives you your APM throughout the game as well as how many times you clicked each button. Uh, or each key um, or mouse key, which is kind of cool. See how, especially the longer games, you can see how many times you clicked your mouse, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, I've also used the replay.hud in here. Personally, I found it to be a little bit clunky and not record all that well. So I prefer to use um, plays.tv. I found the, the post match feature a lot better than trying to use it in game. Uh, we'll highlight a couple more here. So Wolf Trainer is very similar to plays.tv where it records your match like uh, plays does and then allows you to view it afterwards as well as having tags for when different things happen. So you can see here towers, assists, kills or deaths. So it's another way of basically looking over your replays. Q Club is a, probably the one that I use the most at the moment, which is, is essentially a way of having challenges in your games to try and uh, get the top kills or top assists or KDA in a few match period and then if you win that little match you get some points which you can then use towards skins through the client which I quite enjoy it's just like a little way of earning new rewards the last program or app that I wanted to point out was this stream aware one which I've used a couple of times and had mixed results with but it is kind of cool. Basically, it'll tell you if your game is being streamed by someone and you can jump on and see that stream or, um, you know, go have a look or let them know, you know. It works reasonably well. I've had mixed results with it, but it is kind of fun to have nonetheless. Lastly, we're just going to go through the settings that you can select in Overwolf. So the first one is the games overlay. So this just tells you which games and you can click on that and it'll show you which apps you've got installed um, and where you can put the overlay for these apps. The next setting is the general settings. So you can choose to have Overwolf start when Windows starts up. You can also disable Overwolf in-game controls if that's something that bothers you. And you can uh, decide where you want the dock or if you want it to go away um, during game. Next is the capture one. Um, I don't have any capture apps active at the moment, but if you did, so for example, the replay HUD one, you'd obviously need to set your settings here um, to make sure it works. The hotkeys tab is pretty self-explanatory. It's just how you control um, the apps that you have installed or the program itself. And you can just set up hotkeys um, so you can see. So if, for example, in the quarterback one, we have things like accepting challenges on the fly, um, declining them um, or showing your current challenge. The sounds again, pretty self-explanatory. 
just how the sounds work and where it's coming from um, so you can make sure it works and support things like checking for updates um, and where to find or um, get in contact with the devs if you need to language again don't really need to go through this one too much but just choosing your language you can see all the ones that they offer here and then lastly the privacy statement which of course everyone reads thoroughly before using overall i find overwolf quite useful i don't use all of these apps but i do quite like the q club and having things like Professor and Mobilytics all in the same spot is kind of nice. I've definitely used these programs more in the past. Uh, at the moment, I tend to be just using Blitz and Mobilytics for the most part. Thanks for watching my overview of Overwolf. Please leave a comment below and let me know which of the apps you use or like uh, or enjoy using. And as always, if you're enjoying what I'm doing on the channel, please like and subscribe for this video.